Okay, I'm about to read a deleted comment that was effectively deleted promptly and immediately off that YouTube channel from the TEDx Toronto YouTube channel. Basically, from this video alone, becoming who you are meant to be Michael Brandt. Okay, there it goes. It all ended for me on August 31st, 2009. A man died. His name was Darcy Allen Shepard, and um, it's not for me to eulogize him other than to say that he was loved and he remains loved by many people. I was charged in his death. I was charged with killing him and the charges were dropped to nine months later. Sadly for all concerned, Mr. Brandt's description of this tragedy suggests that he is still in denial, at least publicly, not only when it comes to the extent of his own role in the cycle's death, but more importantly how the Ontario justice system was manipulated, some believe corrupted, to drop the charges that led to his release without trial. The damage done to the perception of equal justice for all, on for all in Ontario that resulted from the provincial government's opaque disposition in this case. 14,000 pages of documents related to how and why Brent was given a pass have remained hidden from public view in the files of the Ontario Attorney General's office since charges were dropped on May 25, 2010. May never be repaired. While one wishes Michael and his family well in his, in his ongoing quest for personal redemption, it seems an impossible task as long as the truth about the ensuing possible travesty continues to be kept from the public and avoided by the man here looted or lauded by uh, TEDx Talks for his brutal honesty. Yes, one would hope that these that those responsible for the closed captions on the TEDx Talks YouTube channel might at least find a way to spell the dead man's name correctly. Thank you for watching. Feel free to share the video.